Hello, everyone who's still watching videos of me walking around. Uh, today is a very special day, other than it being a nice, crisp autumn. Is it November? Yeah, that means fall. Fall. You know, I don't like the word the word autumn too much. I don't. I don't like it. It's just. It's not bad or anything. I just don't really like the the word autumn. Anyway, uh, other than this. Amazing fall, uh, I'm at the place where the secret garden is again. Uh, this amazing fall, uh, afternoon, uh, it's one of my best friend's birthday today, Rachel. So I'm gonna make a video, uh, about her, special person she is, and, uh, talk about the good times we've had, the, the inside jokes, sort of, not really inside jokes, yeah, it's, it's private, but the, the good times we've had, and things I can say about her as a person, you know, that sort of thing. Hmm. Oh, good. So, uh, let's start us off with saying, uh, her, name's, her name's Rachel. Uh, she's shorter than me. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. You know, I'm shorter than people as well. I'm, you know, my height. Uh, really, really funny person. <laughs> Excuse me. That was really disgusting. Uh, she's a really funny person, honestly. If you don't really know Rachel, and you haven't really hung out with her, you won't really, you can, can't really tell, I think, from just having like a casual conversation from her. But if you actually get to know her, she's really funny. Like, she has me cracking up sometimes. Uh, she's also very philosophical. Like, if you have a conversation with her about really existential or very serious topics, she really just blooms in those situations, honestly. I mean, it's it's kind of hard to explain, but if you just have a really deep conversation with her, you'll come back thinking something completely differently and considering a new viewpoint. It's it's very good. She's she's a very high highly minded person, honestly. I think at least. Ah, uh, what else can I say? Um, she's a good taste in music. Uh, She's not really, she doesn't have like a weird taste, which is what I consider my taste in music, like weird. I mean, hey, if you look at my iTunes, or my uh, my Pandora, I have a really weird taste in music, like, I don't like everything. Gosh, people. Again, so I'm just going to go over here to this tree, and just like, sit under the tree. I didn't mean to do this last time, I'm going to do it now. Uh, hopefully there aren't any bugs. So we don't feel like I'm bit. Or... Getting, uh, attacked. Ooh, this is a nice looking spot. I like this. It's a lot. It's a lot. People, so be quiet. Be quiet. I like this here. This here. So, um... Pink rock, pink rock. It's got pink rock here. It's pretty cool. I don't know. Anyway, um, I like this area though. Nice area. So, like I said, she's a very highly minded person. She's very funny. She has really great, great taste in music. Uh, she got me onto flaming lips because I didn't know about them before, but then she got me on the train. Flaming Lip Town, and that's awesome. It's gonna leave the tree, you know. It's like a spooky vibe, there's a lot of moss. It's like, where's the Scooby Doo set? Not, not the movie, the, the show. This movie's awful. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't that. It, well, it's funny. Let me not say awful. Let me not. Like, I look at it now and I'm just like, that was a weird movie. But back then, I've seen, I've seen it so many times at this point. But, uh, yeah. She's a really good person, really good person. Uh, it's also very kind. It's, I mean, as any as any person can be. She's not overly kind, but if you if if you're very close to her, she's very kind. I'll say she's a very kind person, very caring. She 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 cares about things a lot more than I do. We're saying something. Uh, 
I think it's really it in terms of superficial things. Uh, other things talk about Rachel. To say about Rachel, uh, just small hands. <laughs> she has small hands, which is kind of a weird thing to say about one of your best friends. But she has, like, I have long hand. I have, a, I have a large palm and long fingers. So a lot of people's hands are smaller than mine. But her hands, her hands are very small. Just gonna say, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, she had really like here, nice height. So uh, what else should I say? Uh, okay, let's just talk about good times because now this is at six minutes. I've just been kind of rambling at this point. My voice is kind of bad. I don't know why. I guess it's the season, but there's a car. Get out of the road. Get out of the road. Get out of the road. Let's hold the phone. Hold the phone. But yeah, uh, so we're talking about some of the good times. Uh, one of the things I really remember about high school is, or is, one of the things I remember about high school really well are the walks that Rachel and I took. In the mornings a lot. Uh, we would usually just walk in 12th grade after. <laughs> In 12th grade, I literally would just like wait till 9 for Rachel to get there just so I could walk with her because she's like the funniest person in the morning. And we, even though we've never really talked about anything really serious, we'd just be like, eh, 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 you know, small talk and that sort of thing, or just random things, unless we had something particular to talk about. But, how long decorations? So November 3rd, people, get, pick, pick it up. So November 3rd, get it, give away. So, I remember walking with Rachel a lot during, uh, what was it, 11th grade, we did that a lot. We walked a lot during, in between classes, but in, in 12th grade, I specifically remember doing that in the mornings a lot. Uh, they crossing over, getting on the sidewalk. They are not getting on the sidewalk. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, those were always really fun. I didn't really walk with someone as much as Rachel did, so that's one thing. I, uh, we hung out downtown a lot, where we just walk around and talk. And at first I was always like, why do people go downtown? Why do people go downtown? Like, I'd never understood why people found such joy in going downtown. Once you walk with someone downtown for a while, then it starts to get a lot more fun, because you can just talk and, you know, joke around, that kind of thing. And it's also, it's just a really, really fun, cool thing to do. Uh, I just really remember when we walked downtown, talk about music, talk about whatever. Always really fun. fun. Uh, but the one, like, really, the one thing that I, like, is still in my mind, I think it was the first time that Rachel and I hung out. Uh, you know, I think it was, if I'm correctly, in 11th grade. It was, I think it was 11th grade. Was it 11th grade? I'm pretty sure it was 11th grade. Yeah, it was 11th grade. It was right when, it was like right after I had gotten my job at, at uh, no, I'm just gonna place. Actually, it was right after I got my job at Chick fil A. And I came on to these tickets from the boss, my, well, from my boss. He got me two tickets to Winter Wonderland, which is ice skating, and different Wonderland things. I think I remember going there some other time uh, for another one of my friend's birthdays. And that was fun. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to turn around this way. Uh, ignore me. Ignore me. So I remember how the wind. Hopefully you can hear. I, I really, I probably should be talking louder, but I don't want to talk too loud. Anyway, uh, it was 11th grade, pretty sure, right after I started working at Chick fil A. This lighting is just, just checking my face to see the lighting that's what I'm looking. So uh right I got my job chick fil a and I had to take it to the Northern line, which is it should be annoying. I got two tickets to Winter Wonderland, which was 
a whole winter themed thing you could do. There were ice slides and carriages. Like I said, I went to another party. Uh, I went, went and hung out with some other friends another time. I think this was. Well, I, I forget if it was before or after this. Another time is a funny story. Well, yeah, this is sort of funny. Well, it, yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. It's, it's pretty funny. I'll, I'll tell that some other time. But, the time I went with Rachel was one of the funniest times. One of the happiest. Not, not to sound like, oh, not to sound over dramatic, but one of the happiest times of my life, honestly, because 11th and 12th grade were kind of sucky, to be honest. 12th grade in particular, but 11th grade was, at the beginning at least, was pretty. What? Hey! That was, that was my mom. That was my mom. Anyway, so. Like I said, uh, 11th grade was it, was, it was pretty good at the beginning. The beginning wasn't that bad, but the end was just like, oh god, it was just awful. Awful, awful, awful. Ah, uh, but this was, when we hung out, that was like one of the happiest moments of my life, honestly, to be honest. Uh, my first time ice skating, and never ice skated before. I was, you know, trying my best not to fall, I kept falling. But it was really, really fun, to be honest. Really, really fun. Really, really fun. And... I think that was like the first like fake snow I'd seen. I've seen real snow, but I'd never seen fake snow. So, oh, there's train tracks. Might go on that later and not get attacked. So, one of the hats I'm rambling on and stuttering for some reason because my throat is kind of weird. But that was one of the happiest moments of my life. Uh, first time when I was skating, you know, first time hung out with Rachel, just just a great time all around. And I still have a picture I took on, I think it was my second phone ever, my second phone ever. Yeah, my second phone, what was my second phone? What was that? Because we had those, you know, it was my third phone, my third phone ever. Because my first one was this, uh, is it my first or my second? I think that was my... First, okay, my first was a thing, a brownish, really thin phone. It wasn't a razor, it was kind of like a knockoff razor. It had like a flip, the camera, you could like toggle it by moving this rotating thing on it. And that was, I'll, okay, I'll talk about cell phones later. But anyway, great moment. I still have a picture that I took on one of my old phones of uh, me and Rachel smiling there. That's That was a really good picture. That's like one of the only good pictures I will say I have ever taken in public with somebody because most pictures I take nowadays are awful but I was, I was really good taking pictures back then but that was a really good picture like my smiling you know she's smiling it was just snow was falling just 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 great time all around honestly that's like the one moment that with Rachel that I can like remember whenever I think about it like I'm like man I gotta smile about that because that was that was a great time so uh it was three 13 minutes long Kinda long. I didn't want to be as long. I wanted to be like 10 minutes, but of course, I go too long with videos. And that could be 20 minutes. We're gonna end this soon. But yeah, uh, Rachel, you're probably gonna be watching this. I'm gonna send this to you at some point. So I'm just gonna say happy birthday. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That was disgusting. Happy birthday. Uh, you're turning 19, I assume, because you're already 18. So you're after turning 19. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful year. Sorry, I'm talking weird. Uh, I'm gonna send you a card. I'm not gonna talk about this on here. I'm just gonna send you a card. That's all I'm gonna say. So, I hope you have a wonderful day, like I already said. And uh, that's it. Anyone who's still watching this video, even though it's not your birthday and you're not Rachel, I hope you have a wonderful day as well. And I'm gonna be leaving now, so bye. Yeah. <sighs>